Well, kind of what started the whole thing off was uh, there was one day I went to work, it was a windy, rainy day. I couldn't get parked near the office, so I had a distance to go from the car to the office. Uh, like everybody else, I ran as fast as I could through the car park, but three quarters of the way over, big pain in the chest, gasping for breath, uh, could hardly move. I eventually managed to get into the office and collapsed on my desk and I knew there was, there was something wrong. But I did at the time think it was a cold in the chest that I had. Spoke to the, the nurse at work and she suggested I get, go home and see the doctor immediately. My doctor got me an appointment with a heart specialist because he suspected it was more than a cold in the chest. So I went to see the heart specialist, I was put on the treadmill, I had the uh, the, the, the wee Doppler thing up my neck to see the arteries. I had a resting, I had a resting uh, ECG and everything seemed fine. And then he put me on the treadmill and as soon as he put any incline on that, I was gasping for breath and he hit the, hit the button and said, this goes no further. And he knew then that things were not right. The angiogram showed that I had two arteries completely blocked and another one 85% blocked. Which was, which was pretty bad. I was not to leave the hospital until I saw a surgeon and the job would have to be done as soon as possible, which was a bit scary at the time. The staff were very good. They were all so very reassuring. I mean, they had seen it. For, it wasn't the first time for them, it was the first time for me, and hopefully the only time, but they knew, they could tell that things, that things were going to be fine. I stayed in hospital until I, until I saw the, the, the surgeon. And after I spoke to him and the anaesthetist, I then was allowed to go home and three or four days later I was back in for the procedure. Well, between having the angiogram and the operation, I was on medication. I was on blood pressure pills, I was on other pills which were to soothe the heart. I think I was on relaxants. I was on various things, but all the advice that was given was not to do anything too energetic and just stay indoors and wait for the call. For the bypass procedure, I was just really given a, the anaesthetic. I was, we had a wee chat about what was going to happen and when and, and then, I was, then I found myself counting backwards from 10 and maybe getting to 8 and then that was it all over. I was quite uh, quick out of intensive care. I went straight from intensive care to a day room. I missed out the high dependency. I mean, I was relatively young and, and reasonably fit. The recovery time, it was, it was by kind of stages. I, I had to do a lot of walking once I got home to, to build back the, the, the strength, my strength in my leg that the vein had been taken out from because the new blood vessels have got to form to do the job. But I didn't have a lot of strength at first. When I got home, I tried to cut a tomato and I couldn't break through the skin. Brushing my teeth was difficult. I dreaded a hiccup or a sneeze. Uh, that maybe was about two or three weeks. I was really worried that anything would happen to me. But after that, I realised nothing was going to happen. I think my, after the, the procedure, I, I was getting back, I would say I was getting back to some degree of normality, maybe in about, uh, maybe about seven or eight weeks. Because after that, I, start, I was taken on at the cardiac, the cardiac rehab classes which there's 10 weeks of rehab classes, which are mostly aerobic exercise to 60s music. And it was all very enjoyable. And you could see the people who had had a similar procedure, who were maybe, you know, eight, nine weeks of rehab. And the things they could do was amazing, which helped people like me going in. You knew that in you know, a few weeks time, you were going to be able to do all these things. Now, I appreciate everything. It's a, I enjoy doing things an awful lot more. I have a lot more fun, I smile a lot more. Uh, I'm just glad to be glad to be alive and how I am today because there's nothing I can't do. And before the operation, I was always tired, always grumpy, always hot, irritable, couldn't sleep. I, I couldn't go back to the way I was. And uh, well, after about another couple of months, I, I had the opportunity to leave the company, take early retirement, which I did and never looked back. Well, for somebody who's going to be going through this procedure, I would give the advice I gave my brother-in-law, who also had this operation four years ago, 
that uh, okay, it's going to, it's it's an invasive procedure. It's going to take some time, but it's going to change your life. You'll be back to the guy you were 10, 15 years before. You'll be able to do everything you used to do. It's 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 not sore. It's not like it's sore or anything. It's it, there's a bit of discomfort at times, but after it's over, it's progress every day. You will feel a bit better every day. Do what the doctors and nurses tell you. Go to the rehab classes. Do all the exercises. And you'll just, you'll just feel wonderful.